Hello, it's Karen here, Kazina, and uh, yeah, I'm filming from this funny angle, right, because I'm about to do something sort of clever for me. It's not really that difficult by the looks of it, but I'm going to be putting um, a hard drive, 2.5 hard drive, into my PlayStation 3, because um, I have, let's turn it around, there you go, pink thing, pink PlayStation 3, hard drive video on YouTube ready to watch Pre uh, precision screwdrivers and uh, pliers coffee and a cigarette <laughs> if I panic right and uh, a cat just to uh, annoy things as we go along uh, yeah basically I have uh, a pink PS3 don't ask me why it's pink but it is and um, it's the old um, 60 gigabyte model the one that can actually play PS2 games and uh, I figured that if I bought a new hard drive hard drive that one up, with a with more memory on it that uh, I could sort of like you know have an all-in-one machine that will play PS1, 2 and 3 games and uh, also I'll be able to install a lot more PS3 games straight onto the PS3. Some of them automatically do it anyway. So that's my plan and I'm going to sort of film it as I go along but as I've only got like uh, you know one hand, well I've got two but <laughs> one's holding the camera and then I'm going to be fixing and I, and I dust uh, all I know is it's got to go in this bit here that has got to go in there now uh, before you do this well, before I, let's go back to my lovely mush before you do this I, I you can um, save your stuff onto a flash drive um, your saves and whatnot but on my PS3 to be honest it's not been used that much I've played Heavy Rain on it and finished it and Marvel Alliance and some Yakuza which I might be a bit sad to lose the saves but um, I'm not too pushed about my saves on the PS3 because really it's so underused and um, by doing this I'm hoping it's be overused and I'll cry if I you know lose my saves in future uh, so that's kind of god I'm babbling do you know what I'm watching on TV um, Ginks is it pronounced Ginks G-I-N-X Ginks TV uh, I only discovered it last week seemingly it's been around since July last year uh, it's a TV station but I think you can only get it on Virgin sorry Sky owners uh, uh, devoted completely to gaming and it's pretty good actually what I've seen of it um, you know they review programs and hey, I'm not doing a plug for this uh, I'm just letting you know about it because I didn't know about it but it's pretty good it kind of looks current uh, they seem to be reviewing up-to-date games and everything like that so um, I've sidetracked uh, <laughs> I meant to be telling you about my PS3 right I'm gonna be stopping and starting this video because I can't do it like this so um, without any further ado I'm going to continue but I'm going to turn off for now right the first thing you've got to do is see this thing here got to take it off right oh that was easy isn't it um and then i've got to unscrew these now i'm going to sort of try and film this you know um as i go along uh with my nifty new screwdrivers um says i uh does that fit yeah it does right so put that in and uh do this all right god this is scary what if i bugger it up i oh, don't like that one does it we don't like it it doesn't like this right, let's try another one so all i need to do is bugger up the the preceding bit. well also this uh, uh screw playing silly buggers <laughs> already 
Oh, and I just when I thought it was so easy, I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the thread on it. Oh, look at me, technical. Don't want to mess up the thread. She's a lady, and she knows about these things. Um, yeah, it's amazing, you know. I even fixed a washing machine once, but that was a total fluke. Um, <laughs> right. Please, no. Oh, it's working a little bit. Oh man, I nearly forgot. Oh, I just said the F word. I try to restrain from using that when I'm filming. Because um, it's not nice. It is, but. That one doesn't work. This is called It's So Easy to Do This That I Can't Do It. Um, right. Right. Dilly dally. Karen with the many screwdrivers. Not one of them wants to recognise this screw. What is wrong with you? Right, so for a brief moment, uh, you can hear my voice and all you can see is me struggling with this screw. So I'm just going to pause it again, as you do, and uh, I'm going to get the screw out. But, um, you know, there's going to be probably lots of cursing and stuff like that, and it might take ages and you don't want to hear all that. So I'm pausing again. Right, hello. Yeah, um, I've had a bit of progress. I can't get this screw out for love nor money. However, there was a screw there, which I've just taken out, no problem. There was this here, like that. So that pops out the hard drive. So that's the metal casing there. The metal casing for the hard drive. And basically, as you can see, it's the same looking thing. I've got to pop that in there. But I'm going to have some fun, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I don't have to touch that screw there, which is um, gone. I think I've got to unscrew it there. I haven't even looked that far on YouTube yet. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is check the video. Let's check the video. Let's check the video. Oh. Right. Uh, oh, metal latch. Something, and it should just slide right out. Yeah, make sure that did. Is completely on for this, uh, and even the the little switch on the uh, back for the like the I and the O and stuff. Right, so sure this is what he's saying. So I'm putting a video on YouTube. So watching a video on YouTube. Or there might be some dust. Um, so don't use anything wet to wipe it off. So just unscrew the four screws. There should be two on each side of it. Two on each side. Where you're pretty much just taking the hard drive out of the <gasps> metal. So I have got to get that one off. Thing. Oh, help me. Uh, so we're just going to take this off and keep mm. a hold of the four screws. Don't let your cat go and knock them around, think that they're toys. And then once you have those taken off, the hard drive should just pop right out. And, pop uh, right out. Pop right out. Right. right. Please recycle this. If you're going to pause that. So, according to Loki, Loki on YouTube, once you unscrew these four screws, using the wrong lemon screw again, um, I'm so handy, I'm so handy, ah, oh, this is the right one, right, so I'm going to take these ones out. I hope you can sort of do this right. This is terrible filming. This is probably going to be um, classed as uh, the worst, <laughs> the worst how to do it uh, video you've ever seen. But this is, this ain't no pretty, this ain't no pretty film, you know. This is real life. <laughs> Sorry, I'm babbling. My bipolar just took over. Right, so, because I've done that, the case should undo, but it don't because I can't get this one out at the back. So somehow, uh, without breaking the bugger, right, I've got to try and get that out very nicely out of here, right. <laughs> uh, I've got to try and get that out of here. Uh, 
but this screw is really um, playing games. So I'm going to switch off again because um, I think if I broke it, if I, bro yeah, hello there. If I, if I am. Um, I have a mad cat. I've got a treadmill, right? Not that you'd know from the old girth, but um, he's just uh, walking on it. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm I'm going to turn off again because I'm going to try and uh, work this out. And when I, when it's all shiny and new and sorted, I'll be back, chef. Hello, I'm back again. Guess what? I did it. You don't know how. You don't want to know how I did it. Um, it's slightly bent now, and. Uh, the edge of the hard drive is uh, slightly damaged there, but um, <laughs> it was difficult. This is not how you do it. I didn't use that hammer. No. Did I use that hammer, Dusty? No, she didn't. Right, he put it there. Uh, so when you've done that right, when you've done that, you've taken the hard drive out, mm -hmm. then you get this one, new one, and uh, you find a pair of scissors to open it. You can see uh, and well prepared. Um, so you take it out. Now I've got to be careful. And uh, you put this one in like that. Like that just like that that's it take it out see the one this is really bad filming right but look here's the one I took out uh, and that goes in like that and then you search for the screws uh, right I'm gonna have to try and film this better probably can only see my boobs which is not a good thing <laughs> Right, but um, I'm hoping this is working. Get screws, get screws, and make a total Hames again. And stop sniffing, Karen. It's not a good look. And uh, then you screw them back in like that, right? Uh, there's two on each on each side, but uh, one of them I don't know where the blooming hell it's gone. <laughs> The one that I sort of messed up somewhat uh, is went flying somewhere when I managed to use something on it. So, God, honestly, they don't make it. They don't make it look like this on on these YouTube videos, you know. It's all like, and it's so easy, and this is how you do it, and then stupid girly comes on and can't do it properly at all. Right, so I've screwed it in. Right, screwed it in. So um, let's go back to the old thing. Right, so now let's. I'm going to move the old, this is terrible filming as well. Where's an assistant when you need one? So I'm going to put that in like that. Put that in like that. Like that. And then... Uh, it should just move over like that. Did you see that? Let me do that again. Right, I'll pull that out. Because... You see that click? Hear that click, right? You've got to do it so that these bits at the end go click in so you can use the little you can use your finger really there like that. push it and it clicks in put that down and then I'm going to screw this in screw 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 and uh, I'm going to look for that screw and then I'm going to put the cover back, like that, right. and then I'm going to hook it up and see what happens. And I'll show you that when I get to it. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. 
back once again like a renegade master and now I've put the PS3 back under here and now I'm going to switch it on so it's the proof of the old pudding uh, <laughs> to see if I've done it or buggered it up and uh, there we go switched it on green lights on green lights on and let's wait for the picture. I hope I've got it on the right channel because that could be quite, um, you know. Aha! PS3 has come on, right? Uh, so, let's see. Because basically, you should be able to, with PS3s, you can just. It, look, it comes up here, it says the system storage must be formatted. If you format, all data on the system storage will be deleted. Do you want to format? I do, but like I said, if uh, you want to do this and you want to save your stuff, if you've been playing the PS3 forever, then you want to save your stuff onto a flash drive or a USB stick or something. Uh, or I think you can even save it on an external hard drive as well. But I, I'm not too pushed with my PS3. I just want to start afresh. So I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go... Uh, uh, I kind of uh, forgot to um, put the thing on. Yeah, I'm going to go... Yes. It says... Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to go... Yes. And now it's formatting. So... Let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> I really dressed for this, didn't I? Uh, this is what I do on my day off. I wear yesterday's shirt. <laughs> you filthy person. Uh, oh yeah, format is completed. Press X button to restart the system. So that's what I'm going to do. Now bear in mind, when I started off, I had... 60 gigabytes so now I should have 500 gigabytes which is more than enough for what I need um, and like I said I've got the old um, PlayStation 3 the fat one that could play PS2 games and this is the reason that I want to use it as well because uh, you know I've got all this stuff under my TV but I could play my PS2 games I know the, they play the PS1 games anyway uh, ah, there we go. So the screen's come up. Now, what I'm going to do to see if this is well, actually, let me check the storage. Where's the storage? I'm going to check the storage, where that is. System, are the system settings? I don't know. Uh, bloody, bloody. I'm going to find out how much. Uh, hmm. Security. Anyone want to know where it is? Anyone want to help me? <laughs> uh, don't really know. Right. Uh, what details? Details. Um, ah, you just have to take my word for it because I don't know where it is. I'm such a great gamer. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a game I uh, picked up the other week uh, Beyond Beyond Two Souls Beyond Two Souls and uh, I'm going to put the disc in and if it works we're laughing and if it don't work we're not laughing and also I'm going to try with a PS2 game as well um, just to see what happens right so look game starting oh that's a result isn't it Jesus I actually done something right do you know that <laughs> I'm delighted right so game should be starting hopefully it's not doing that update thing that takes like 10 hours oh latest update please wait okay how long is that going to take hopefully not too long <sighs> 
while we're please waiting, I could show, I, I might show you what I picked up the other day as well. I finally got round to picking up, yeah, that's like ages. I finally got round to picking up Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, only two days ago, 25 quid. <coughs> I know, shocking. But, it's really good. I really didn't like Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, I liked, uh, I think my favourite before that was uh, San Andreas. I really played quite a lot of that and I didn't mind Vice City. Um, but I played 4 and I just couldn't get into it and I was thinking, what's all the fuss about? What is all the fuss about? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just a heathen with no taste, but I didn't like it. And so because of that I kind of put off buying 5. Uh, but of course, loads of years have gone since they made the other one, so it's got to be an improvement, hasn't it? But um, from what I can tell, I've only played, uh, you know, about five hours, I think, I've played of this, and um, I played as Franklin, and it Tony. I haven't met the psychopath guy in it yet, and um, it's really nifty, and I've got a dog called Chop, which I think is quite funny, the dog's called Chop. And um, this is going to take for ages, so I might pause it, and when it's uh, at its fruition, I'll put it back on again. But Grand Theft Auto 5 is really good. A late adopter. That's me. Hello, we're back again, and it's just, just begun to install. Well, finished installing. I'm not saying just began to install. It's um, finished installing. So now, the game... The game should come on, and if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. And uh, come on, game, come on, you can do this. Make Karen proud. I like the look of that. That looks like a loading game to me. Don't take too long. Come on. Yeah, so, um, this is good. Say hello. Come on. Entertain the YouTubers while my game's still loading. Aha, and there you have it. Game has loaded, right? Game's loaded. Yeah, but Confirm. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Right, so that is right hello now then um i think i got cut off in mid flow when i was talking about putting games in the old ps3 now uh i demonstrated that the ps3 game works perfectly and i was also having a little fiddle while we was uh, offline and uh, if we look under Oh, such a spanner. <laughs> what is it? What can I do for you? Um, oh, now I've forgotten where it is again. Oh, blimey. Uh, Yeah, if we look under system information, I knew that all the time, system information, um, you'll see now I've got 412 gigabytes out of a possible 465 gigabytes, which is excellent, because I only had like about 45 out of the 60. And uh, what I'm going to quickly demonstrate is, we hope, is the PS2 games still work. Now I picked this up today in a charity shop, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and I'm going to pop it in, pop it in so, and hopefully it will start working immediately. And if it doesn't, oh God, as they say. There we go. It's working. So, Right, I'll leave that on behind me. So what I'm saying is, right, you might be a bit of a technophobe 
when it comes to fixing things because I know I am. However, if you've got a fat PS3 knocking around, there's still life in it. Especially if you've got one of the old ones. I bought a hard drive off of eBay for $34.95. 500 gigabytes and now I've got loads of memory on it I can play PS1, 2 and 3 games on it which is good and um, I put the hard drive in myself and I'm really crap at things like this trust me and you can see I didn't do it really well but what I'm saying is I've done it and uh, you can do it too. And don't that look quite nice? I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just pressing buttons. Okay, just say okay. Let's see the gameplay works okay. And, I don't know, continue. There you go. Look, Star Wars, The Clone Wars is working on the PS3. And, uh, I might actually try to do a bit of live play on here now, not with the PS2 game, I mean with the PS3 games. Um, so, my, uh, what's my username? My username is gongli13, G-O-N-G-L-I-13, if you want to find me on the PS3. And uh, there you go. I did it. And thank you very much for watching this really long-winded, very badly made, very badly short, convoluted, but ultimately <laughs> successful video. Until next time, bye.